Hey everybody, it's Uncle Mars with uh, Elite Wine TV, episode number three. Thank you for uh, getting to episode three for me. So what do we got today? We've got a uh, another red wine. So uh, we went to World Market and bought a bunch of wine. And part of these wines, just so you know, I bought all these wines, some of them specifically to do for this episode, others just because, you know, hey, we like some of those wines. Uh, a few things. Uh, I'm not going to be maybe as, as uh, strict with the rule of I won't review a wine I've never had before, but this wine I've never had, and so far we've stuck to the rule, no wine, <laughs> don't drink a wine I haven't reviewed, or don't review a wine I haven't drunk before. So uh, we've got a wine called El Torito. It's a Tempranillo uh, from Spain. It's a 2007, I'll try to get that a little bit closer. 13.5% uh, alcohol, so it should be pretty good in the alcohol. Uh, let's see, it's from do, do, do. It just says product of Spain. Vino de la Tierra de Castilla. Whatever that means. Okay, so, um, oh, that's actually where it is. Right that part of Spain. Okay. So, uh, the reason we bought this wine, you can't, I don't know if you can really see it because we got the price tag still on there. Probably can't see it. $2.49. It was a wine that they had on major sale. They're trying to get rid of it. Don't know why. It may be really good and maybe kind of swill. Who knows? We'll see what it is. So, uh, do a little rinse here because, like I said in the other episode, recording all these in one day. But the cool thing would be to drink all that stuff. A little combination. Let me do that off camera. Alright. So, El Torito. The little bull, I guess. Now, Tempranillos are, are a nice varietal. They're, they're basically a Spanish varietal. Um, you'll have a lot of Spanish wines. Also, Spanish wines are really good values um, compared to, say, California wines or French wines. Um, off the nose... I smell a little bit of the alcohol, so it might not be 13.5, it might be closer to 14.5. Um, and I'm getting, it seems like, I, I wanted to say smoke, or smokiness, but I'm not getting that anymore, so that might have been just some weird little thing going on. Yeah, you know what? It smells like, you know, like there's a lot of alcohol in there. It smells like grape juice and alcohol. I mean, I know that sounds kind of funny that, that I'm describing it that way because that's what it is. But, I mean, that's what it kind of smells like. You know, it, not, not to steal from Gary uh, Vaynerchuk, but it, I, it, this is what I imagine when he says it smells like, you know, they, they put some grape juice in, in a shot of vodka in there. That's kind of what I would imagine it would smell like. Now I'm getting some fruit. Wines haven't been open very long, so this wine's been open for maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, all right, let's just taste it. All right, so I got that. I think I know where I got that smokiness from. It reminds me of a barbecue. Like I can see having this with some with some ribs, some some uh, uh, pulled pork, maybe some brisket. I can see having this with some brisket. I do get I do get the dryness again. Um, red wines, you're 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 going to get dryness. Whites, you, you shouldn't get any dryness with whites because there's no tannins. Um, and the tannins are from the from the, the skins of the grape and from the seeds and the uh, stems and all that. So that's where you get all that stuff. And in case you didn't know, the 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 color comes from the the, the skins of the grapes. So something like you know the last wine I did was Zinfandel. Well, you have what's called white Zinfandel. Well, white Zinfandel is the Zinfandel grape. All grape juice is white. All grape juice is clear. And then to get the coloring, they put the grape skins in the juice 
for a certain, a certain amount of time to get the color. So the longer it touches, the skins touch the juice, the darker the color. So with white Zin, they barely touch it. They just get that little hint. Um, I'm really just trying to delay, trying to figure out some more flavors. Well, yeah, I'm going to say it just makes me think about barbecue. Maybe like a, a smoked, like kind of that smoke flavor, uh, like a hickory thing. Uh, not, not a wood thing. Like I don't really taste taste like the wood thing going on, but just it reminds me of barbecue. And I think it would pair really well with something like that, with a barbecue type of thing. Uh, you could even maybe put with barbecue chicken as long as you got a, nice, a lot of barbecue sauce on there. Um, I'm really pleased with it because it's two forty nine, and it's a steal. If you can find this at World Market, if you can, and if, if they got it as cheap as we got it, uh, I'd buy it. I'd, I'd buy a lot. We bought two bottles. So, because I was so cheap, and I figured, if, if, you know, it can't be that bad. All right, so another thing, now that I've gone through all these wines, so what am I going to do? Well, obviously, I'm not drinking all these wines. Dumping out what I don't drink, because, you know, whatever. And in all honesty, it, it actually helps me to spit the wine to actually get the flavors. Um, have a better chance of actually tasting some of the stuff when I do spit. Um, so, what I've got here is a product called a vacuum in, or there's... There's other products, similar idea. What you do is you put the stopper in, put the little plunger on top, pump it till you hear the, there's a little ball that, that starts dinging in there. And now you've taken all the air out of here because what happens is oxygen um, is bad for wine. Uh, the more oxygen in the wine, the, uh, the more oxidized it gets. Now, a little bit of oxygen is good. You want wines to breathe. But we don't want the wine to be open or even just with the, with the cork in it for more than a few days. So, I mean, I may not drink any more of this for like another three, four, five days. So the vacuum helps keep it uh, uh, fresher so it doesn't, doesn't uh, get really nasty. So if you can find one of these, get them. We're going to have to buy a few more of these things because uh, I only think we got three of these stoppers. So I'm going to have to get a few more. Um, that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you again for stopping by. As always, uh, to the right, you'll see the donation and subscribe buttons. Feel free to donate as much as you want. If you'd like to subscribe, just read the text there. It explains how the subscription works. Um, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to put them. There should be a comment section below. Let's, I hope so, if I set up the website right. Um, and I haven't got the email set up yet for Elite Wine, but uh, they'll have that set up eventually, probably another week or two. Uh, if you do need to email me for something, you can email me at mars at mars.me. That's M-A-R-Z at M-A-R-Z dot M-E, uh, which is my other website. You're more welcome to go to mars.me. Check out all the personal stuff there. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for coming by, and we will see you next time.